When using a backup service such as Avpoint Cloud Backup for Office 365, it is possible that over time, backup requirements change. You may be protecting Exchange Online mailboxes, yet want to remove some mailboxes from the backup scope. You may be protecting SharePoint Online site collections, yet have identified certain site collections that you don't need to back up. Whatever the change is, you can go into Cloud Backup and you can tell it that you no longer want to protect those specific objects. Doing so will trigger an automatic deletion of those objects from the backup data after a specific period of time. This is to ensure that we protect your privacy in that the tool is no longer capturing information that you have said you don't want it to capture. Before looking at how that works, first let's take a look at how to actually change the backup scope. You'll see in this interface, I am protecting Exchange Online, SharePoint, Teams, Groups, and Project, but my OneDrive for Business has an X. That tells me that it is not being backed up. How did I accomplish that? Well, it was originally backed up, which means the OneDrives were included in previous backup jobs, so we do have backup data of those OneDrives. To tell it I no longer wanted to back them up, I clicked on the gear at the top right of the tile and chose Change Backup Scope. Now you can see here I've turned it off completely, but in an enterprise license, if you set up multiple groups of objects, you could also clear specific groups. An example might be if you had grouped your mailboxes by, say, departments. You could have them for sales, for marketing, and so on, and you could come in there and say, well, we're no longer going to back up a specific team's mailboxes. Once you did that, though, since you had previously backed them up, you would trigger this process of auto-removing that mailbox data from the backups. And that's what I've done here by clearing the slider from my OneDrives. Now, once you've done that, you will start this process to auto-remove that content from the backup data. Please note that you will receive notifications in the form of email messages to let you know that that's going to happen. The email message language will be a little bit different depending on if you're an Avpoint customer or if you're a partner of Avpoints representing your customers by using this tool, but the message is clear. It tells us that we will receive notifications every week until the actual data is removed from the backup data. We can also see it in the tool itself. If you log on to Cloud Backup for Office 365, over on the left, expand Office 365 Backup, and then go into Data Management, we have Remove Unprotected Data. If you have never cleared anything from previously backed up scopes, when you go in to remove unprotected data, you'll get a very simple little message that says, there's nothing here to see. There's nothing that's going to be removed from our backups. But since I have, when I pop in here, it explains to me what's going to happen. As we said, we switch something from protected status to unprotected, which triggers the service to begin this process to delete that data from the backups after 30 days. By looking at the scopes, I can see there's no mailboxes, SharePoint Online site collections, groups, or teams that are going to be cleared from the backup data, but I do have OneDrives. These are the OneDrives that will be removed. Now you'll notice there really isn't anything I can do here. I can't tell it keep this one, for instance, because to the service, that is not something that would be done here. That would be controlled back out here by going into the tile and again, telling it to change the backup scope. If I was to turn this back on and click apply, or if I had done different groups of objects and I was to recheck something I had previously cleared, well, the next time the backup job ran, it would catch this and it would go back to protecting those objects within that particular scope. That would essentially clear the remove unprotected data process and it would not delete that content because you are now again telling the service that you do want to continue to back that data up. You do want to continue to have that data protected by Cloud Backup for Office 365. If I don't do that, however, after 30 days from the day that I change that backup scope, that content will be deleted. Now, it's very important to remember that we are not doing anything in Office 365 
we are not affecting the OneDrives themselves, we are simply purging it from the backup data. So there will no longer be backup data related to this. And again, that is never triggered automatically in Cloud Backup. You as the Cloud Backup customer have to come in here and have to tell it that you no longer want that thing to be protected. This is very common to see happen early on in the adoption of Cloud Backup. When you're trying to decide what it is that you want to protect, you're doing various testing and things of that nature. We may capture content, and then ultimately you don't actually want to keep that content in Cloud Backup data. Very easy, we change the scopes, it gets cleared, and it's not something we have to worry about going forward. At any time in the future, you can switch it back if plans happen to change. Thanks for watching this short video on how backup data for unprotected data scopes is automatically cleared in AvPoint Cloud Backup for Office 365.